Everyone wants to live in a community that is beautiful, safe, and friendly. We want low crime rates, privacy, and quiet neighborhoods, but with plenty of entertainment, dining, and recreation opportunities. We want things to do and pretty things to look at. We want paved roads and smooth sidewalks, good schools and quick emergency response times, all while having low tax rates and minimal regulations. But no one wants to do that at the risk of the underprivileged, elderly, and disabled. Sometimes though, interests collide and government leaders are forced to make some difficult decisions, such as the case in Russell, Kentucky, part of the tri-state region between Ohio, West Virginia, and the Bluegrass State. I am author Gwen Elise Clayton. My husband and I moved here last week and found it to be a wonderful community with friendly people who care deeply about their neighbors. They've all been very kind to us and helpful and responsive. They've just been wonderful to work with. Our first morning waking up in the new home, I joined a Facebook group called Visit Ashland, Kentucky. Ashland is the major metropolitan area in this region. I posted an introduction saying I was looking forward to meeting new people and getting to know the area. Over the next four days, I received 47 comments from folks welcoming me to town, many of them suggesting places to check out. I really like this because I like checking out new things. The first suggestion was a bakery called Princess Pastry in downtown Russell. It turned out to be great advice. We each ordered a couple of cranberry orange muffins and a cup of coffees, sat down at the little table out in front and just enjoyed the morning. While we were there, Eddie struck up a conversation with this Navy veteran named Todd and the two of them were comparing notes about combat and MREs and I wasn't paying attention to everything until this Todd guy started talking about this revitalized Russell project that he was a part of. And so my ears perked up because I'm a professional business writer and I'm getting my master's degree in economic development. So I start talking to him about the project that he's working on and I get really excited about it. Economic development is a critical component to any region. It drives growth to our local coffers creates high wage, high wage jobs, and facilitates an improved quality of life. With money circulating in the local economy, government officials have funds to improve public services and private citizens have more disposable income. Nice looking neighborhoods give residents a sense of pride in their communities, as well as a sense of safety. After we got home, I did my highly academic Google search on Revitalize Russell. The first hit in my Google search was an article in the Daily Independent, which is the local newspaper covering the Ashland metropolitan area, which is what Russell is part of. According to an article dated May 6th of this year by reporter Charles Romans, the city of Russell has pulled eminent domain on the property currently used as the Russell Convalescent Home at 407 Ferry Street in Russell, Kentucky. As I read on, I learned that the facility is home to 27 patients who have no family to care for them. These residents have all suffered an illness, injury, or operation of some sort, requiring the help of someone else to resume their day-to-day -day activities. There are also 12 employees who work there. Now, normally a convalescent home is supposed to be for short-term care. It's not for long-term care, but some of these residents have been there for 20 years and they literally have no place else to go to get the care that they need. So for whatever reason, they're still there. It, it's not my place to to judge them. All I know is that there are 27 people who are sick or disabled and they have nowhere to go because they're about to lose their home. And I'm not going to opine on whether it's right or wrong to pull eminent domain. I'm just saying that 
the city is going to pull eminent domain on this property and these people are going to be left with nowhere to go right or wrong that's just the facts drama hedge who is the med supervisor for russell convalescent home told the daily independent quote most of my residents don't have family so the only family they know is us well russell mayor samuel r ron simpson posted a facebook message dated august 21st saying the property will be redeveloped as an open air pavilion so that we can have a farmer's market and vendor space and also a play area for children and family families with some additional parking for that space he included an artist rendering of the planned use now i didn't talk to anyone about this and i'm not going to even though the journalist in me wants to dig deep into this issue but for the purpose of this video, all I want to say is Russell, Kentucky is a great little city. I'm happy to be here. I love my neighbors. I love all of the friends that I've made since coming here. And I understand the need to revitalize the downtown area. No one wants to live in a town rife with urban decay. If we don't create a vibrant community, we can't generate tax revenue, which means we won't have money to spend on public services. And nobody wants to live in an ugly space. It just, that they wanna, we need to revitalize our small towns. It just, it needs to happen. So the demolition of the rehabilitation facility is going to happen and in my opinion it's a waste of time fighting it however i really want to emphasize that it's on us as individuals to come to the aid of the residents of the russell convalescent home if you want to help them you can donate to their gofundme account i'll post a link in the description below i encourage you to donate to it. And as soon as I get some income coming in, I'm going to donate to it. You've been watching the Rivervine YouTube channel, a lifestyles platform for thought leaders. I'm your host, author Gwen Elise Clayton. Every Tuesday evening, I share news, features, and commentary designed for critical thinkers with a sense of wonder. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and or entertaining and be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be part of the Komati tribe. If you'd like to financially support this channel, you can join my Patreon community at patreon.com slash rivervine and be sure to check out my books on Amazon. To learn more about my professional business writing services, go to gwenclaytonwrites.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday. All links will be posted in the description below.